marriage is built upon three fundamental foundations, and that's commitment, trust, and love. Without these three, you, you would not have a marriage. Without these three things, you wouldn't even have a relationship, period, with anyone, um, let alone marriage. Commitment. A word that's often said and used by many, especially those in a relationship. But I think very few people don't really understand what that means. Even myself, to some extent, because we'll say we're committed until someone does something we don't like. Even our spouses, you know. I'm a man that's been married for 28 years. I married a woman that had two children when I met her. And we had two more and we have three wonderful grandchildren. And even during all them years, these three pillars were tested against the storms of life. <clears throat> commitment you see Christ is committed to the backslider he says he's married to the backslider you know even though we as mankind don't put our trust in Christ all of us don't we do things that displease and dishonors God but God He's committed to us. He's committed to us. He is committed to mankind because he loved the world so much that he gave his only begotten son so that anyone who would put their trust and belief and faith in him will be saved. Mankind fell, but he made a way so that we can get to know him and be with him and fellowship with him in this life and after. That's commitment. Because he's committed to us knowing that we probably won't commit to him. Some of us will never commit to him. Am I saying that you should commit to someone who doesn't want to commit to you? No, I'm not saying look at it like that. I'm, I'm telling you to look at it like this. You got to be committed to your spouse. The one you say that you love that you're going to marry. You can't be looking for avenues of escape I'm committed until or but and that could be hard because I know there's some people that have been through some really really hard things hard times anywhere from infidelity to money pro extreme money problems just all kinds of things and I'm not saying that a person has to stay in an abusive situation you know, I'm not saying that because God would never abuse us. So we can't think like that. Trust. You have to trust. Now, <laughs> God doesn't trust mankind because we're not trustworthy. But God is trustworthy. He's never failed us. He never forsaked us. Yet while we were sinners, Christ died for the ungodly. So he's trustworthy at his word. So we could trust him. So what does that have to do with mankind if I say that God can't trust man? Well, our, our ways are wicked. But his trust is a model for us to be towards our spouses. Because in the scriptures, marriage is often compared to our relationship with Christ. So... We need to trust our spouse and we need to be trustworthy spouses, which means that they need to have faith that we're not going to harm them. We're not going to mistreat them. We're not going to do things that willfully put them in harm's way. Right. And we need to be able to trust our spouses and not look at them with such a, a suspicious eye, wondering if they have any ulterior motives when dealing with us. We can't approach it like that because without trust, right? You can't you can't commit. 
you can't commit, you won't trust. And if you don't trust, which leads me to the last one, love. Love covers a multitude of sins. And love is an action word because as humans, we mix love up with an emotion, a feeling. And that's where a lot of us go wrong. We look at each other and we say, oh, I just feel so in love. But what happens when that feeling goes away? What happens when that person doesn't give you the butterflies and doesn't give you what you think they owe you? Will you leave them for irreconcilable differences? <laughs> you know where I'm going with that. Or will you tip out on her saying that the feeling's not there anymore? Oh, when she was younger, she was more fit she was more lovable now she's you know older you know love doesn't fail love conquers all and these are not easy cavalier things to just spit out of your mouth you know because when you think about commitment trust and love these are some weighty things because these are things that looks past the superficial meaning that we apply to them when it comes to relationships and my prayer and from this video is that many of you understand that there's no perfect person out there there's no perfect situation but one thing I can tell you is if you follow Christ and, and let him lead you He'll help you to apply these three things, commitment, trust, and love to your marriage. And that's all I have for you. Till the next time, peace.